Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the 36th Pi Games tutorial from pythonprogramming.net for Bucky and the New Boston. Where we left off, uh, we've got our apple, we've got our awesome looking snake, and now we want to upgrade our icon. And by icon, I mean the little image in your uh, window. So, whoops, let me close out of this. Let's open up this. And this is our image that we're talking about. Now, it just so happens that the Pi Game logo is a snake so the logo is a snake here although it's really blurry at least on windows um just so happens it's a snake but i want to show you guys how you can update it anyways so that's what we're going to do here so q to quit okay now to update that uh we're going to go right where we set our caption to the window which was right here like right at the top of our script basically so pygame.display.set caption um, right underneath that is where we're going to add the update to our icon. So to update the icon, what we just need to do is, first of all, we want to specify what the icon is going to be. So we're going to just say icon equals pygame.image.load. And then this is where you put in uh, the image that you want to load. Since we are, my image anyways, and hopefully yours, is in the exact same directory as a script. There's no path or anything like that to it. Uh, so I'm just going to say apple2.png. Again, depending on what system you're running and all of that, you may need to give a full absolute path uh, to any of the images, um, any of the images that we reference. But on Windows, you probably won't have to. So that's the icon. Now we want to use that icon in our window. So to do that, we go pygame.display.set underscore icon and then we just say what the icon is and in our case it's just icon now a quick aside the icon the best size for an icon is going to be 32 by 32 um, so you can you can have something that's a different size that is not 32 by 32 but you're gonna find that goes to stretch it kind of to 32 by 32 and sometimes it does a very bad job of stretching it. So uh, with our apple, our apple is 30 by 30 so we're probably going to get away with it. But if you have an image that's like 10 by 10 you're probably not going to get away with it. It's not going to look very good. Same thing if you have like a 100 by 100 image it might not look the greatest. So anyway we'll save and run that and we'll see what we got. So as you can see we've got our apple now as the uh, logo or icon um, so it worked out pretty well just to use the exact same apple. We could also use the snake, um, and maybe the snake would be a good example because the snake is only 20 by 20. So, um, for example, we could take snakehead2.png, copy that, and just paste it into the icon. Save and run that, and yeah, you can see how it's like all, almost like I got ripped or something. It's just, it's not ideal. So. I uh, just thought I'd show you guys that real quick, but I like the idea of making it the apple anyway, so we'll just make it apple2.png. Make sure we did everything again. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. Now, there is one other thing I want to do in this video, and that is fix the apple's uh, location on the screen. It will never be fully off the screen, but it could be a whole 20 pixels off the screen, so that's kind of a problem. And this problem arose as soon as we changed the size of the apple from 10 by 10 just a box to 30 by 30. That's that's basically when we, we screwed up. But, um, and then it, we just, I just happened to not see it happen until uh, really recently that the Apple was off the screen. So anyway, scrolling down here, uh, we're looking for Rand Apple X and Y, I think. Let's see. Right. So in the definition of Rand Apple X and Rand Apple Y, you can see this is our code. And it's anything between zero, the display width, minus block size. Well, again, that was okay when the block size was identical. And actually, now it's a 20 by 20, right? So let me look. Yeah, so it'll be 20 by 20. So now it's actually only capable of being 10 pixels off the screen. Still not ideal. So instead of block size, what we want it to be is apple thickness, which is down here. So we're actually going to need to pull that. Um, pull this definition of apple thickness up. So I'm going to cut that and we're going to head on up and actually we'll put apple thickness at the top here. So like right, actually apple thickness isn't even going to change. So let's put apple thickness uh, right by block size. So we'll paste apple thickness up there. 
Now we'll go and let me do a control F and I'm gonna type in Rand Apple like that and we'll find all of them because I think we've got a couple of these actually. Um, so I'm gonna paste paste so it's display width minus apple thickness display height minus apple thickness and then we'll do another search for the random apples just make sure yeah so we got some more down here so we actually got it disappearing three times so really we should probably make a function for these and may, that's what we'll do I think probably in the next videos we're gonna make a function that will handle these because this is pretty sloppy to have this this many times so again though um, just to fix what's here at the moment block size needs to be replaced with apple thickness apple thickness apple thickness and apple thickness there and now that should be it yes yeah, we made it to the end of our script so we can save and run that and just make sure that uh, we're not getting errors and stuff so see to play there's our apple Looks like it's doing what we expect. Oh crap. Oh, I hit both keys. Wires. Goodness. Very bad at this game. Um, so anyway, yeah, it looks like our Apple's uh, acting as it should now. And now hopefully it won't be even a little bit off the screen. So that's good. So now in the next video, I was going to do score probably, but um, I noticed that we're we've kind of like hard coded this function that basically runs three different times in our script. So we definitely want to fix that as well, because for exactly the reasons I've just shown, um, anytime we want to make a modification, we're having to edit in quite a few places, which is obviously not ideal. So uh, with that, uh, that's what we're going to do in the next video is we'll, we'll have this uh, actually as a function and uh, that'll hopefully make it a little bit better. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed as always. Uh, thanks for watching.